Today is Vlogmas Day number 12. Today is Vlogmas Day number 12. I am in Starbucks, so don't mind the background noise and don't mind the cafe because, again, I am in a public place. So I'm going to be speaking as loud as I can without disturbing anybody else. So today's vlog is going to be about staying motivated. School edition. Whether you are in elementary, middle school, high school, you are a PhD student, you are in college in any capacity, staying motivated, I feel, is an understatement. Because let me tell you, especially with break here now, some people are still in school like me, and some and every other student is on break at this point. Staying motivated, I feel sometimes, is an understatement. Mm. But I'm gonna give you all some tips so that way you all can continue to stay on the path to greatness so that way you can stay motivated, continue in the past your classes, and to stay hitting those goals that you hit for yourself. So I got my caramel macchiato, I got my notebook. Let's go ahead and get to it. So the first tip that I have for you all in staying motivated is to stay organized. What I do, I use my planner. I have my happy planner. I planned with that as well, so I made a planning video with that. If you all did not see it, go ahead and check it out. What I do, I like the big planners. So I have my stuff here and then I'm going to be transferring it here. So I already wrote it out. If you like planners, go ahead and use those. Some people, I encourage alarms, so that way you can always make sure that you are on top of your stuff. Use sticky notes as well. Stick them around the place, stick them around the um, house, so that way you can remember what you need to do for that day or for that week, whichever applies. Also, when you do that, make sure that you don't overload yourself, especially when you're taking assignments each day. So to stay organized, um, go ahead and do a couple assignments each day. Do what you can handle. If you know that you can tackle three or more that day, go ahead and do it. But do not overload yourself because that's not gonna be good for your brain. Next thing you know, you'll be breaking out all on your face, other parts of your body. You're gonna get headaches. You're gonna be eating random stuff. It's, it's not gonna be a good look, y'all. So do not overload yourself. Take it day by day. Stay organized so that way when you have to reference back to something, you already have something laid out. So that's just another stress that's off of your head. The next tip that I have for you is to always make sure that you give yourself some grace. This is gonna go in with the next tip, which is taking a day to yourself. So giving yourself some grace and taking a day to yourself really go hand in hand because it's reminding you that you deserve a break. Even before the actual break comes, you deserve a break. So with that, take a day off. Don't take five days off because you gonna be rushing in, to get the assignments in and we don't need no rushed work. We don't want to be under that stress, under that unneeded stress. Take a day off. If you wanna go to the park and walk around, do that. If you just wanna drive around, that's your way of decompressing, go ahead and do that. Watch television, exercise, read a book, take a nap, do what you need to do to decompress and to remind yourself to give yourself some grace because when you give yourself grace, you are reminding yourself that I have accomplished these goals up until this point. I am congratulating myself because I did the hard work and I got a majority of my stuff out the way and I'm just going to give my body and my brain a rest and we're just going to relax and rejuvenate today. The next tip that I have for you all is to stay motivated. Again, that is easier said than done. When you stay motivated, it's easier to get things done but hey we lose our motivation i lose my motivation as well in many different aspects i lose my motivation plenty of times when you lose your motivation remember why you started did you start going to school for yourself did you just want to go to school to gain more knowledge is this going to help in your career path that you have what did you do as far as staying motivated what did you do this for why are you in school remember to go ahead and keep that going and if it's a personal goal if you're just there to gain knowledge as far as specifically college if you just want to use that to um help you elevate your career or you just wanted to do this on the side just to continue to feed yourself knowledge and information that's fine middle school high schoolers remember that you are going to be able to do this you can do this you are going to get through this trust me i was in high school before you are. High school, my year, my high school. Look, 
I had a good time in high school. I found my group of friends and we're still friends to this day. I'll be seeing them later on, actually, <laughs> for the holiday season. So I'm excited to see them. But how I stay motivated in high school, me, I continue to try to put myself in a positive light, try to have a positive outlook. I played sports, that was my outlet as well. If you play sports or in your other extracurriculars, whether you're in clubs or organizations, use those as ways to help ease your mind, to decompress, and to help you stay motivated as to why we are in this journey. The next tip that I have for you all is to not slack off. Again, that point is easier said than done. Because who slacked off last week? Me. <laughs> who just wanted to get their assignment in and hope for the best grade? Me. <laughs> Cause look, especially when you're at that home stretch, again, me. You just wanna get that assignment in and just hope for the best, okay? After all that hard work you put in, I'm like, look, my brain is hurting, I'm tired, I'm getting irritable, I'm getting aggravated. I'm just going to turn my assignment in and just hope for the best. That's it. When you begin to slack off, you're going to be going into the mode of being lazy and just not caring anymore. Again, it's easier said than done, but you all do your best not to slack off. The slacking off days, you can use those as your grace day. Use that as the day that I am going to give myself grace and I'm going to take a break. Because trust me, look. Slacking off is, once you get in that mode, it is hard to get out. It is really very difficult to get out. So make sure to not slack off. Don't slack off at all. Turn that slacking off day into giving myself a day of grace, relaxing, and rejuvenation. The, the next thing that I'm going to have for you all, again, I'm looking at my notes. So, the next tip that I have for you all is to practice things that keep your mind sane. <laughs> for me, I like to keep my exercise going. I like to go ahead and drive around. That's just my way of decompressing, listening to the music, having a whole concert in the car, not caring who was looking, singing in the car. Um, let's see, some people like to pray. I love to pray, that helps keep my mind sane, that helps keep me calm. Some people like to read, take walks. Some people like to talk to their friends, their family, whichever. Go ahead and practice those things which help keep your mind and your body in balance and sane. Because if you're doing all work and no play or no relaxation, there's, you aren't gonna have enough energy to get the needed things done. So put your work in, and then when you're done with your work or you need to take a break, practice the methods that help keep your mind sane, that help keep your brain sane, and to keep your body in check and in balance. So that way it's, a, it's an even balance of things. So go ahead and put those into practice as well. And the last thing that I have for you all is to celebrate. That is the best thing you can do for yourself. Celebrate. Whether that is when winter break hits, because I know some people are still in school like I am. Others, they already had their break. Their break just started. So make sure that you celebrate. Whatever part of the break that you are in, the winter break that you are in, remember to celebrate. Because you did it. The year is done. <laughs> you are on your way to graduation. I'm telling you. This is the last week of classes for me because these eight week classes, they are no joke. They are fast paced, you all. And let me tell you, I'm real proud of myself for keeping up. I am real proud of myself for keeping up with the um, assignments that have been coming in. My teachers, my professors have been real gracious with me and I have been doing my best to stay on top. Everything has been turned in on time and I'm very proud of myself. Give yourself a pat on the back because you turned everything in on time. Whether it was turned in or turned in late, you turned the assignment in. And now it's in the teacher's hands, so they gotta go ahead and handle that issue now. So we did it. If this was your last year of school, okay. Congratulations. We're almost at the finish line. Soon. I'm almost at the finish line. This is my last week of classes because next year is graduation, so I am happy. Look, and if you are still in school and this is just a winter break, hey, congratulations again because you did it. 
go ahead and celebrate. Celebrate in any way that you know how to. Be responsible when you celebrate. Be responsible. Don't be going off the deep end and doing something crazy. Because we don't need to see nobody on the news. We don't need to, we don't need no problems, man. We don't need no problems. Go ahead and celebrate in a healthy way. Have fun with your friends. Have fun with your family. If you like to go out and celebrate by yourself, go ahead and do that. Always enjoy your own company as well. Have fun. I'm proud of you all. I'm proud of me. Because especially with this, with this school thing, it's not easy. It's really not easy. You have to have that grit. You have to have that motivation. You have to be in the correct headspace to do it. Because we all have our days. I have my days where I just say, bump this. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't even know why I signed up for school. What what is, what is school? What is learning? What is that? That's what I keep telling myself every time I look at an assignment. Why do I keep doing this to myself? Every time. But it's all going to be good in the end. You all. <laughs> Again. I am proud of you all because you did it. I am proud of myself because I did it. I'm almost done. We're almost done. Let's go ahead and crush these goals that we have for ourselves. Let's continue to crush these goals. Let's make these accomplishments for ourselves. And let's keep pushing. Let's keep pushing. We're almost done. You all, this is the end of the vlog. I am now about to enjoy the rest of my caramel macchiato and enjoy the ambiance of stomachs and enjoy the relaxation that I have because today was a day of relaxation. I'm proud of myself. Tomorrow we're going to start the work day. We're going to get everything going with that. And that's it, y'all. I hope that these tips helped you out and motivated you in every way, shape, and form to finish out the school year strong. Again, I'm proud of you. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, hello and welcome. And to my old subscribers, how y'all doing? I hope that you all are doing great. I hope that every one of you is doing well. Again, thanks for watching and thanks for the support. I appreciate it. I'm going to be catching you all next time. But until that time, peace out.